Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening. I'm Molly Fry. Thanks for joining us. The high water hazard plaguing much of east central Indiana added drama to the daily bus ride of a few Blackford County students today. Newslink Indiana's Chris Wilson has the story. A Blackford County school bus carrying five high school students made an extra stop Friday morning. Bus driver Larry Plumer was driving along a county road in Hartford City when he ran into standing water, and a lot of it. Dan White is the director of the Transportation Department for Blackford County Schools and says it is the county's policy for bus drivers not to take any risks when it comes to flooding roads. For some reason he felt that it was safe to go across it and, and uh, attempted to do so. While attempting to drive through, a front end of the bus slipped into a ditch, partially submerging the bus into the water. The bus was stranded here at the intersection of 500 North and 700 East. The Montpelier Fire Department was first on the scene and was able to pull up to the side of the bus where students could exit the emergency door. Hartford City Fire Chief Ron Parrott says the best thing motorists can do when running into flooded roads is to turn around. You know, and again, if people just turn around, just take an extra bit of time, turn around and uh, go back instead of put themselves in harm's way. You know, it's not worth tearing your car up or possibly even losing your life. The bus driver wasn't able to talk with us, but Blackford County School says he will be subject to the Accident Review Board. The students, however, walked away from the scene without any injuries and a good excuse for being late to class. In Hartford City, Chris Wilson, Newslink, Indiana. The Blackford County School System buses 1,700 students to and from school every day. Richmond police say they've made a major dent in Indiana's drug trade. The police department seized 144 pounds of marijuana and almost $10,000. The city interdiction team followed a lead that took them to a hotel on the east side of town where investigators discovered 42-year-old Jose Fernandez LeBron from Tucson, Arizona. Police interviews and evidence led them to a nearby self-storage garage where the majority of the drugs were found. We're being on the, in this division for eight months trying to strive towards some kind of a seizure, this is a step in the right direction. The street value of the marijuana is estimated at $216,000. Now here's Ina Segal with a look at tonight's forecast. Ina? Thanks, Molly. For tonight, be expecting a low 14 degrees, partly cloudy conditions, and a gradual clearing of the clouds as we head into the overnight hours. For tomorrow, we're going to see a high temperature of 24 degrees. Back to you, Molly. And that's Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.